when convicted of murder, could face the rest of her life in prison. Stacy Sanchez is accused of driving drunk when she hit and killed a pedestrian in Oceanside. Our tennis reporter Jennifer Dela Cruz was at her sentencing today, and Jen, this was emotional for everyone involved. Well, Steve, we heard from the victim's family today who gave us a better look into the life that man was living before he was tragically killed. And during that statement, Sanchez became so emotional, she was hysterical and had to be taken out of that courtroom. In just a few moments, a quiet courtroom was shaking with emotion. <laughs> Stacey Sanchez was hysterical as she listened to the family of Jackson Olsen, a man she's accused of killing. My uncle, the man that you murdered, was loved. He wasn't a nameless, faceless person. He was a real, deeply loved man. Stacey Sanchez was found guilty of second degree murder, gross vehicular manslaughter and hit and run Oceanside. Police say she was drunk when she hit and killed the 69 year old and kept driving for half a mile with his body through her windshield back in 2016. I love my Uncle Jack. I will never get another opportunity to see my uncle. Because of your actions, Stacy Sanchez, my heart is broken. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> A judge sentenced her to 15 years to life in prison on Wednesday. This is something that she caused, and it was not an accident. Sanchez is considered an undocumented immigrant. San Diegans for Secure Borders say this all could have been prevented. And unless the laws change drastically, she will be deported back to Mexico, where she's from and where she should have been the night that she murdered Jack Tenholzer. The victim's family sending one last message to the woman accused of ending his life. Honor my uncle's memory by doing good things and making good choices. An emotional day for everyone inside that courtroom. Sanchez will face the next 15 years to life in prison. After 15 years, she will be eligible for parole. Reporting live in Vista, Jennifer Delacruz, 10 News. An intense day in court for sure. Thank you, Jen.